here in northeast Wisconsin, our snowiest February in over 129 years. So we really added on to that total during the month of February. And we're going to be adding on to this total as well as we head through the next 7 to 10 days. Right now, we've got temperatures that are all over the place. We've got uh, temperatures that are in the upper teens to around 20 compared to some spots that have climbed into the lower 30s. It's 32 degrees in Wapaka and Mountain. Those are the warm spots. It's that time of year now where forested areas warm up pretty quickly compared to uh, areas where we just have a lot of open fields. Uh, because of the, uh, the way the sun angle is now. So we go from 32 in Wapaka to 20 in Oshkosh. Closer to Lake Michigan, temperatures are mainly in the mid to upper 20s. Right now, in the valley with tons of sunshine, it is 21 degrees. We have southwest winds at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. In Green Bay, really not a cloud in the sky. Uh, yesterday, if I'd shown you this view out of our tower cam, you would have seen really nothing. <laughs> it would have been a whiteout, but today... Tons of sunshine. You definitely need your sunglasses, no doubt about it. The temperature in Green Bay, only 20 with southwest winds at 9 miles per hour. That southwest wind, not that strong, but strong enough to create a wind chill factor. It currently feels like 9 in Green Bay, and it feels like 10 degrees in Oshkosh. Meanwhile, in Appleton, the wind chill is making it feel like 13 degrees. So we have some snow, and now we've got some colder temperatures, and even colder weather is on the way. Nothing going on today across northeast Wisconsin. We've got quiet conditions. There is a cold front approaching from the north and west, but high pressure is our main weather maker. Although it is a cold front, it's not going to cool us down as we head into tomorrow and Wednesday. It's actually going to help to warm us up a little bit the way that the winds are coming in from the west. After that, we'll be watching a much more potent cold front, however, that's going to move through Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then behind that, we're going to see our coldest temperatures in probably about a month or so. I'll do some calculations later on today and get that information for you uh, by the uh, 5 or 6 newscast. Right now, you can see temperatures here across central and eastern Wisconsin only in the lower 20s. Behind the cold front, we actually have upper 20s. So it just has to do with some local geography effects right now that are keeping temperatures cooler across eastern Wisconsin. So even though the cold front's going to move through and actually kind of weaken a little bit as it